so we are at the doctor's office for Amelia to get her checked up for her, her UTI. Oh. Hey, so we're gonna get her get her checked out, see what's going on. Not feeling too good, but she's being a little better. It's hard having a sick baby. Takes a lot of attention. Yeah, it takes a lot of attention. Say hi, Mia. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she's feeling up better than she was, but now we're just following up with the doctor because from the hospital visit to see, you know, about the diarrhea and the sickness and UTIs aren't funny or aren't fun or funny either. They're not funny either. They're not fun though. So we're just here getting your check up. Okay, so I'm just pulling back in from the from being home. <laughs> um, so they have me schedule her a um, they're scheduling her an ultrasound to make sure everything's okay with her. They said because she's so young and she had a UTI, they are concerned about her kidneys and want to check her kidney functions and her bladder to make sure everything's okay. So um, I'm just going to wait 10 days for that. So I'm just going to get her out of the car. So right now, Amelia is nursing. She slept for two hours and I slept for maybe 30 minutes. Well, I took a nap. So, today was the first day in four days that she ate solids. She refused to have solids. She refused her bottle. Um, all she wanted to do was nurse. So, I think it had to do with the pain that she was in. Um, so, today I want to go to the store. Uh, I put some probiotics in her food so that way it helped her, her stomach because she has, like I said, she has a uh, diarrhea four times a day that's not that's a lot so she's probably really hungry and I gotta make sure she stay hydrated and she the doctor said get her some electrolytes and so Pediasure we're gonna get that get her some yogurt help her tummy and um, just make sure she's okay uh, she's mostly been sleeping with me cuz you know if you know babies when they're in pain they're they're clingy they want to stay next to you so that's mainly what she's been doing staying close and crying when I'm gone. I'm sure that's part of her age as well as feeling sick. So she keeps looking at me every time I talk. She's like unlatching. But yeah, I'll show you guys what kind of um, pediatrician I get her. So here's what I got for Amelia. I'm going to show you guys. I'll show you. I think I grabbed the wrong one. This is the off-brand Pedialyte. <laughs> Electrolyte solution. You didn't want Pedialyte. You want a Pediasure. No, I didn't want Pediasure. I want Pedialyte. You said Pedialyte? Yeah. Oh, okay. Pediasure is like Ensure. It's thick and creamy. No, that's not what they want? No, you just have Electrolytes. But... And then they wanted her to have yogurt, so I got yogurt. And then just in case, I got yogurt bites to help with her to help with her uh, grip. And I got some pear cinnamon oatmeal. Because she doesn't feel good, I got her some chicken noodle. Sweet carrots, sweet peas, squash, banana, blueberry, and beets, banana, and more turkey. That's all we got for baby Amelia. She fell asleep already, so it's 7.30. Chris had her. He let me go to the store, so I have my little time. Because like I said, it's stressful. when she sleeps on me, on my chest. I know you're not supposed to sleep with your baby, but she sleeps with me. She's seven months. She knows how to turn and roll, and she won't suffocate, and I won't lay on her. So, um, so she's asleep now. It's 7:30, so seven, eight, nine to the limit. She may be up at 12 to feed. Um, so I want to get dinner ready so I can eat and maybe go to sleep early, so that way when she wakes up, we can just breastfeed her and put her back to bed. So um, we're having garlic bread and then the chicken alfredo. Um, Hopefully it's good. So, with that, guys, I want to say leave any comments down below. Um, I'll update you guys about her ultrasound and see how to tell you guys how it goes, and if her kidneys and her bladder is just fine. I'll update you guys when we have that. And I want to say have a good night, guys. I am exhausted.
don't forget to check out my Facebook page and there's um, a Facebook group that has deals for babies and just deals in general so if you guys want to check that out the link will be down below too like 50% off 80% off that's it's down below so um, with that I want to say have a good night guys and I'll talk to you later bye a little sad side note sad side note is since she's been sick all she wants to do is nurse so any milk that I expressed and I ran out of storage bags to put the milk in the freezer so I had the milk that I expressed in the refrigerator and pumped in the refrigerator to give her at night that's what I usually do give her at night pumping and expressing milk and give that to her at night so she didn't want that so this is all the milk this is all the milk 10 over 10 ounces of milk the 10 no that's oh, 16 over 16 ounces of milk <sighs> so leave a comment down below on what you guys would do with this I heard some people make soap out of it so that way when if they have eczema or breakouts they use it for the baby or rashes they use the breast milk soap or uh, baths that's not enough for a bath or maybe I could put it put that in her bath maybe I hope with a UTI I don't know but uh, leave a comment down below guys what you guys would do with this would you guys just dump it down the sink I don't know don't know oh and there'll be a link down below for the storage bags too check it out don't be like me and lose 16 ounces of milk alright bye